Hope you enjoy sharing a few minutes of our little mini vacation down to beautiful Cape May, New Jersey. They were just starting to decorate for Christmas. So we're leaving for Cape May on a very brisk, beautiful day. I had to engage my Volkswagen security system that blocks the garage doors. <laughs> that is really high tech. Leaves are still changing. It looks like we're going to have a nice trip down there. It's a three and a half hour ride. Usually pretty scenic this time of year. Of course, we always pack enough stuff as if we're leaving for a month. <laughs> and we're hitting nothing but beautiful, beautiful scenic leaves on the way down. Welcome to Cape May. <laughs> Cape May Ferry, just ahead. So we're coming up, we're actually at the end of New Jersey. There is no more New Jersey. The ferry is here, and we're not taking a ferry. We're about a mile to the right. We're right on the ocean. If you've never been down to Cape May, it's quite a cool area, really neat. And it's really cold out there. You can see the people are all bundled. Nobody's in a bikini, and the wind is howling. No, it is white caps on the water today. Listen to that wind. I know these cameras pick up the wind terribly. Whoa! I don't know if you can hear the wind blowing in the background, but uh, there's white caps on the water. Wow. We stay with Ken and Darlene uh, every, pretty much every year for, uh, oh, for a while, and they're wonderful hosts. This is your turkey, the <laughs> Darlene turkey. Yeah. This is <laughs> oh, my he's mother's so cute. turkey. <laughs> And day one, the, the white caps were just unbelievably ferocious. A lot of the stuff I had to edit out the sound of, the sound is from the camera, the Canon camera, just the sound, get, wind kills it. This is out the beautiful front of their house, out the picture window. We got to see the sunset, which lasts for about an hour down there because they're pretty much right on the water. And it is just a spectacular, spectacular thing. So we always look forward to going out uh, the first night. They usually pick a place called Lucky Bones. Very cool place. So we are going to go to Lucky Bones for supper. Very cool place. And of course, the food is great. The company is great. The service here was great. I, it's just always, every time we go to visit them, it's nicer than the time before. And it, this was just a wonderful, the whole trip was wonderful. We really all had a great time. And the sunsets, this is like Dances with Wolves. I wish I was making a movie I could use these sunsets and their fireplace. So after a great pizza at Lucky Bones, this is how the night evolved. Down into the 30s, baby. Cold. So we wake up this morning, it's a lot nicer than yesterday by a lot we're out on the uh, the third story deck here of ken and darlene's beautiful home i have no idea what they have planned but we're going to make a pitcher of coffee and sit out out here and hang out well yesterday was so windy oh my god today is going to be heaven on earth there's already ships out on the harbor cape may new jersey Now this is one option you always have here is to just get your warm cup of coffee and your a bagel or muffin or whatever you're going to have. Sit up here on the third deck, watch the ships going by and uh, whatever, the fishermen are out there already. And it's turned out to be such a nice day. We're just walking the beach, checking out everything. It is really heavy out here. But this time of year, usually it's a lot colder when we're down here this time of year. And Ken and Darlene's a really nice home. They did all the renovation. It's totally rebuilt. And ironically, while we're down here visiting, Joe Padula is visiting his kids in the uh, town of Wildwood, which is the next town over. But boy, what a day this turned out to be. Who'd have thunk it? And a beauty of Cape May this time of year, for anybody that doesn't come down in the winter, on the block that Ken and Darlene live on, there's only a few people here on the whole block. So if you wanted to go up and down a block and go through the gears on your RD, this would be the time to do it. 
What a beautiful area this is. If you've never been down here, really nice. All right, it's just beautiful walking around here. A very, very scenic beach. Listen to that ocean. What a day this has turned out to be. Just priceless. And because their house is so close to the water and that the only thing in between is that straight drag strip road. You, you, when you're sitting out there having a cup of coffee or walking along or whatever, you hear the ocean, you smell the salt water. It's, it's just like heaven on earth down there. It's really, really hard to get that across in a video. Now, a couple of years ago, we were down here, and at the same time, we were down here, some people in Pokey's family, I think it was his daughter, but I'm not sure, they were on the same, right on the same street. Now, somebody's flying a drone here. I don't know if I can get it on video. Oh, yeah, he's drawing a drone. Cool. So, after a nice uh, drone show, and that apparently these people fly up and down the beach, I'm not sure it's, it's legal to do that, but where we live... But down here, nobody seems to uh, to bother them. And it was fun watching them do that and looking on the beach for horseshoe crabs and whatever's down there. I don't know. It's it's interesting walking the beach. That is pretty cool. Ken puts out water for the dogs because here's what happens. There's a perfectly straight road. People walk a couple miles in each direction. People walk their dogs all day long here. And he has like a little, uh, like he feeds the birds. Like Alan Milliard here. Yeah. There's there's another rabbit there. There's two. Where? Right there. There's one up here. Yeah. Oh, there's, oh, there's the other one. Oh, there's the other one. the friggin' rabbit. Ah, oh, the friggin' rabbits. <laughs> well, they still have a few flowers in bloom down there, even though they're right on the ocean and that salt water is chilly sometimes. Now, I'm always trying to work on my photography skills endlessly and video skills, and a beautiful sunset from uh, the roof of the building and from uh, everywhere I could possibly get it. I shot about 50 pictures of the sunset. I, th I felt like I was making that movie Dances with Wolves, but no matter what angle you get it from, if, if you don't live in a part of the world where you get this sunset that takes about 20 minutes to go down, it's just, it's really beautiful. I got the beautiful sunset from about 10 different angles here. One of the beautiful things when you live by the ocean. Oh man, is that nice. Even a rabbit's like it. No, it's time to go for Mexican food. We've seen the sunset. <laughs> what a beautiful day this turned out to be. Quiet, Where are we going for dinner, girls? It goes on, and that's it. Are we going for Mexican food? Yeah. Rio Grande we pizza. Rio Grande. Rio Grande. <laughs> uh, I'm hungry for Mexican food. Dos amigos. I guess his name is Dos Amigos. Look at this, and this is the tables. Look at this, pretty cool. Very cool, I, I'm impressed. And of course, we all love Mexican food, and this, this place that we went was really a good place. And we, we actually brought back half of the meal. It was so big and delicious, of course, and uh, just, I'd say more than a few calories, but by the end of the night, we definitely didn't have any room for any dessert. So, sir, do you know that guns are illegal in New Jersey? You shouldn't be carrying a gun in a restaurant. Hey, you don't know what you're talking about here in Mexico. We're all here in Cape May to celebrating Christmas. A little, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, is it? Wow, look at this. Holy, you think Santa Claus will have presents for me? Hey, you buy me a new motorcycle. That's pretty cool. And we drove around in the town, and they're not really all up, but I'd say half of the people had already started putting up their decorations. And anybody that goes down to Cape May in the winter season, uh, I guess after Thanksgiving, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's elaborate. It's just wonderful to drive around the town. The big mansions, the bed and breakfast, the physics estate was all decorated. It, it's just endless. And we have gone on in past years, gone on the house tour, 
uh, and seeing the Christmas decorations that some of these people with bed and breakfast put up, absolutely off the chart cool. And this was just the tip of the iceberg tonight. That's the physics estate right there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they make a big deal out of Christmas down here. Yeah. I bet the mayor still believes in Santa Claus. <laughs> now, Karen and I decorate our house between the day of Thanksgiving and uh, the Monday, usually the Friday or Saturday before, or I mean off, after Thanksgiving. And this was really wonderful. It really put us in a mood that in the next couple days, we're going to start our Christmas decorations. All right, there's the trolley right there. They run the trolley at night like this? Yeah, it's yeah. like probably 9.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah, no. yeah, they didn't put, the, the middle of town didn't put up all the decorations yet, but some of them have decorations. We've been to most of these. So we spent the time after dinner cruising the town of Cape May, which is, if you've never been there, it's a very unique place. A lot of old Victorian houses, bed and breakfast, and Christmas decorations. So we wake up this morning and the, uh, the ocean birds are sitting out on the rocks. And it is just, just looks like another day repeat of yesterday. Beautiful day. Not the flag isn't even moving here on... Uh, <laughs> Cape May. I don't know if you call that the bay or the ocean or uh, I don't know but this is one straight road we could open up a drag strip here make a few bucks time for that morning coffee Darlene and Ken are wonderful hosts they know as soon as you wake up you have coffee oh I smell the coffee already I smell the coffee your fireplace is already on oh, life is tough they're so sweet, so generous. Alan and Chris. I mean, we didn't Darlene, you and Karen should make these beautiful tablescapes. I'm so impressed. Oh. This is pretty cool. Check this out. Check this out. I lost fruit cake. I'm like, really? I don't know anyone else. Believe it or not, this guy's been on the video before. He, he comes and keeps you company when you're in the shower. Early in the morning, everybody's jogging and walking their dog. What to do when you're in Cape May? <laughs> Boy, after a beautiful breakfast, there's nothing like coming out on the beach. This is just such a beautiful... Today's even the most beautiful of the days we've been here on our little mini vacation, but like everything good in life, it's coming to an end. And it's always sad when we have to pack up after a little little time with Ken and Darlene. It always seems to go too fast. But hopefully, God willing, we'll all be back here next year. And like all good things in life, it seems like it goes by very quickly. Uh, you wonder where the time went. But it's always, always so pleasant to be down there in all four seasons. It has just been one of the things Karen and I look forward to every year. And because they have been such wonderful hosts, Ken and Darlene, I have to thank you. Thank you so much for sharing your home and sharing this little part of your life with us and, and sharing those beautiful sunsets. Boy, I will treasure them always. Oh, so far, just a nice, pleasant ride. Just not a lot of traffic, of course. And some pleasant foliage to look at. We'll be home in three hours. And we're actually home before dark to beautiful downtown Rutherford where people are jogging. The trees are yellow. Let's see if our motorcycle security system worked <laughs> while we were away. Oh, nobody stole the Volkswagen or the motorcycles. Yay. Now that's a real security system right there, baby. That works every time. So, I hope you did enjoy sharing our little mini vacation down to beautiful Cape May. It is a wonderful spot, and I, I can't say over and over again how much Karen and I enjoy going down there. Whatever season it is, 
it's it's a it's really unusual place and we had a great time this time but starting tomorrow we're going to go back to riding and working on motorcycles posting up a video every day if we can or almost every day and trying to upgrade in every way possible a small collection of motorcycles old and new and sharing whatever we learn along the way with our friends and trying to do it in a way a non-political way that's a lot of fun for everybody so if you enjoyed the video i hope you share it with your friends and of course i hope most of all that we'll see you tomorrow and thanks again for watching